The documentarian in me says, let the camera roll, let her break down, let her get really, really emotional. <laughs> And just let me give Bruce a shout out. Bruce did a video for me uh, for my Run Des Run initiative that turned out perfect. It, it was minus 10 degrees and it still turned out perfect and that's hard to do. So let's give Bruce a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, that's a great lead in because uh, my topic is, and if we can switch over to, is video testimonials, how to get your clients to sell for you. So in this room, a couple of people say how great the other pe person was. But great thing to do is capture that on video. You can have, there's written testimonials like Google Plus and Yelp and things like that. But you don't get the emotion, you don't get the faces, you don't get the attitude in, uh, that you will with video. Key concepts behind this is people do work with people they know, they like, and they trust. And that can come through with the video. Also, you don't want to hire a professional actor to do your testimonials or even create testimonials for you because they're not going to come off as truth. So you never also want to script a testimonial. And the key behind that is you need to get your person, your customer, comfortable. And the best time to actually get that testimonial is when you deliver your product. Step one is to have them identify the problem, their pain, the reason why they came to you in the first place. Before coaching, the business was stagnant, uh, non-growing, and I was about the same thing. It was kind of there running through the motions. Before coaching, I was like a chicken with my head cut off. I had no concept how to run a business. Most of these answers can be very short. They can be sound bites. They also can be very great stories. And that's what you want to pull out of your customer. And the second step is after they've identified why they came to you, is what they got from coming to you. I felt stretched from all different directions. And so we really strived on finding a good time management system that worked for me. And I was able to apply it to the business. I was able to find more time to work on my business. Coaching has put me back in my business and made me more part of it instead of now I work on my business instead of in my business. And now I actually own a business and not have a job. We, we actually shot this uh, last week working with Action Coach, and these were great testimonials. And actually, the way we shot this is she hired me to come in and do a three-hour seminar. And then before the seminar, we spent about a half an hour getting testimonials. There was about a 15, 20-minute break in the middle. We got more testimonials. And then at the end, after everything was over, we got more testimonials. So if this is a great way to gather the, your best customers into one place is in a group like this, and since they're all here, we can all set them down and, and talk with them. Also, you want, when you set up, setting up testimonials, is keep in mind your background. You don't want any big, distracting background, things going on in the background. Uh, especially keep in mind plants. People always have a tendency of having them put it right in front of a tree, and it looks like the tree's growing out of their head. <laughs> or having, in, in this case, we had a, a, wall, a lined wall, which was a, a bit of a challenge. And we tried to definitely try not to get that line to go through his head. <laughs> it's a little bit better to go. And then, and again, something else is separation from the background as well. After we had delivered the product, we got them to explain how it was to work with us. You did a great job just kind of putting everybody at ease. The, the customers that you interviewed were like, well, he made it pretty easy on us. And then this is the video that we did. We integrated both their comments from the owner as well as testimonials from the customers. I love this place. I come here every morning. My wife and I come here every weekend. The food is excellent. I just wanted a, a restaurant where my kids and wife can come and have a good honest breakfast. It's a good place to meet and it's a family atmosphere. It's my kitchen away from home. My husband and I are usually here daily. Food's great. Always enjoy coming here. And I'm here seven days a week. A lot of people come here and the reason they keep coming back is because of the service and the quality of the food. So we enhance the interviews with shots of food, shots of the restaurant, shots when it was busy. 
is also if you don't have a microphone on a person it's better to work in a quiet atmosphere because if you're working with a, uh, a handheld camera where the camera microphone is on the camera you want to get as close to that person as possible without making them look dis distorted as well as getting them in the shot so step four is ask them if anything else they want to say you get some really good gems out of this Action Coach Bonnie, uh, Dave, Monty, um, your whole program, not only um, education-wise, but as personally, uh, you guys have touched my, my life in a way that I can't describe, words can't say. Um, just your willingness to help me um, grow and learn is uh, invaluable. I would have let her just keep talking. The per I was with Bonnie. And she actually, as, she, as, soon as she, soon as she finished this comment, she went up and gave her a good hug and, and, and threw her down. The documentarian in me says, let the camera roll, let her break down, let her get really, really emotional. <laughs> you can use it, not use it later on, but if you turn the camera off or if you stop that thought, you lose it. So better to let the camera run and, and capture, capture those moments that you're not going to get. Because if we stopped her, she's not going to get that emotional again. She's going to calm down, she, her tears are going to go away, and it'll be back to a, a simple testimonial. I mean, she was very, very emotional on this. Step five is have them sign a release. Even if they're great friends of yours, you don't know what's going to come down the road. So it's real simple. It basically, my release basically says you're not getting paid. You're doing this for free. There are actually people who would love to give you testimonials. And we do this here every, every week, is giving each other testimonials. So another option is use these testimonials to, to build into your LinkedIn profile. You've got these endorsements and you've got these recommendations. Turn those endorsements and recommendations into video and embed them on your LinkedIn profile. The next shot I got, we delivered the client. I, I didn't have my camera with me. He, uh, he, he was telling me how great the, the product was. I pulled out my iPhone and shot this. How much you like the video? Oh, I thought the video was very, very well done. Thank you. I thought it represented our shop well. And uh, A plus, great job. There's a distribution channel for this. There's YouTube. And then there's also Instagram and Vine. These are 15 seconds on Instagram and six second videos on Vine. So... If, especially if you're looking for the uh, younger audience, these are where they're at. They're not on Facebook that much anymore. Aura Brush has a video, a YouTube channel. And if you look in the bottom here, these are Aura Brush customer reviews. And these are regular people who love the product so much, they're producing their own videos and sending them to the company. So if you've got raving, raving fans, have them make their own videos and send them to you. And lastly is subscribe to my YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash bsvptv. Every week I post a new video. We've got Rock's video on follow-up and other great marketing and information. Great, thank you. Thanks, folks.